Kevin McCarthy. You know him as the blow-dried pucker hole of the house who found a way to unspeaker himself because his caucus is crazy and nobody likes him. And right now, Republicans are speakerless because of it. But guess what? If you want Kevin McCarthy as speaker, after saying he wouldn't run again, this Nixonian, you won't have Kevin McCarthy to kick around anymore. For 16 years, you've had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. You've had an opportunity to attack me. But as I leave you, I want you to know, just think how much you're going to be missing. You don't have Nixon to kick around anymore. So I may have lost a vote today, but as I walk out of this chamber, I feel fortunate to have served the American people. I will not run for speaker again. I'll have the conference pick somebody else. Look, I enjoy you. I don't know if you'll cover me as much, but I'm sure I won't miss you, but see you soon. Apparently, Kevin McCarthy is wanting to be kicked again. He just floated the idea that, yes, he may again run for speaker. If there's a deadlock, he will step in. Now, granted, the two leading candidates are Jim Jordan, who a half dozen wrestlers and another referee and coach have said knew about thousands of rapes going on with the team doctor in the Ohio State University showers and looked the other way. He's one of their lead candidates. And then there is Mr. Scalise, Steve Scalise, a guy who only 20 years ago was speaking at European-sponsored white supremacist conferences. He referred to himself once, and I not making this up, quote, as David Duke without the baggage. So those are your two leading choices. And maybe Kevin McCarthy took a look at that and said, that's right, my party's fucking nuts. I may just be able to slip back in here. Of course, everybody else considers Kevin McCarthy to be a joke. 15 tries it took him to get elected that first time. So we thought in light of the really tough weekend uh, a lot of folks had, the joke that is Kevin McCarthy, we'd show you another joke. Hey, here's Will Ferrell showing up at USC unannounced and DJing as Frank the Tank from Old School. Check it out. McCarthy, not much else to say. He won't be speaker again, but I don't see it going anywhere. But why don't we end with one other happy note? Hey, it's David Lee Roth's 69th birthday. One of the best showmen of all time, a man who did the kind of splits that risked health and life, certainly health to some of his organs, and uh, Van Halen's an awesome band. We'll close out on that.